Welcome to uh, Octopolis. Uh, presume you pronounce it that way. Um, uh, this is a uh, well. This is released on eighty. He says, uh, waiting for the uh, <laughs> credits to tell when it was released. I think it was eighty-seven or eighty-eight. Uh, probably eighty-seven. Um, at least about English software, but um, we've got eighty-seven here. Um, yep. And uh, programmed by uh, Yuka Tapanemaki. I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, and I should say that the late. Uh, Yuka Tapanemaki because he, he, he did die very young. I'm afraid uh, yeah, I think he had a heart attack. Uh, he died very young. Unfortunately, uh, he did a number of games of 64. I mean, uh, I mean, it sounds vaguely Japanese, but I believe he was Finnish. And uh, he did a number of games uh, on, on the 64 Prime Music here. Uh, this is probably one of his better ones, I think. Uh, uh, you can see from uh, it looks quite reminiscent of uh, Sanction on the 64, except uh, as well as moving the top field on fire, you can also move the uh, bottom screen left and right. Uh, now this is a bit of a gimmick, to be honest. Uh, I'm not really quite sure uh, whether that's going to have a, a function. Maybe it's some of the later levels. So it's got it's got some. Uh, it's got some functionality, but uh, now the idea is just destroy enemy attack waves until uh, you get the audio signal and uh, that it, that you can land. And this is where the game departs from sanction, and it's a bit. Uh, well, I guess uh, so. We, we're now no longer playing sanction, but we're now playing. Uh, reminds me of Mission Impossible a little bit, uh, without, uh, without all the good bits that made Mission... Uh, uh, sorry, Impossible Mission. Uh, without all the good bits that made that a, a great game. Uh, this is fairly standard uh, platform. I mean, it's almost like a puzzle game, because you've got to work out the way to negotiate each room. Uh, I mean, it is almost... Uh, each little room's almost a puzzle. Uh, it's quite good uh, use of uh, high res overlays on, on these big sprites. Uh, they may look very smart, I must admit. The music uh, by Wally Beeman, uh, it's okay. It's not hardly the best uh, music I've ever heard. It's okay. Ooh. I can't remember how to do this. There we go. Oh. It's quite a difficult game this, I'm afraid. But I think, I think, I think I'm um, just a bit cracked it, I think. And when you jump, you just jump forward and, uh, and up, so you get, you, you have no control once you've jumped. So you've got to, got to get used to the sort of uh, distance that you're going to jump. You can't you can't turn mid air or, or anything like that, so uh, you have to be quite careful. Just gotta time this right. Oh. This is one of these games that I didn't have back in the day, but I always wanted. But uh, because it was uh, it was quite rare, I just couldn't get my hands on it. Uh, and uh, you know what? I didn't. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's actually um, it's probably um, as good as I thought it would be. Uh, it's not the best game I've ever played, but it's quite entertaining. Oh god! Whoop! Oh. I think this must be the last screen then we're on to the level 2. I, I think there's, well there must be 8 levels, it's called uh, Octa or something isn't it? So uh, I presume that's why it's called that. Don't know how I'm going to do this one. <laughs> yes. I 
I mean, it's got that, that, that perspective of the graphics, so it reminds me of uh, Impossible Mission Air 2. It's got that, that rather needless uh, <laughs> perspective, but uh, having said that, I think it's. Uh, I think the graphics are a lot better than uh, Impossible Mission 2. Right, well, that's game over. I hope I uh, give you a brief insight into uh, this game. It's not the best game I've ever played, but um, it's certainly above average. I'll give it, uh, I'll give it six and a half out of ten, I think.